Hi, I'm the Reverend Frank Allen, Rector of St. David's Church. I hope and pray that you and yours are well in this Advent season, this season when we're seeking to make room for Christ to come into our lives at Christmas, and when we look forward to him to come again to restore heaven and earth into God's vision for all people and all creation. Due to the rise in the COVID-19 cases and deaths, our bishop, the Right Reverend Daniel Gutierrez, has determined that we need to limit in-person worship again. On Monday evening, I met with the wardens of the Vestry and the Worship Commission, and we considered what our best options are and determined that we're going to end in-person worship until mid-January. The decision was very difficult for us, especially as we imagine not worshiping together on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. But we felt that it would be preferable for all the community to have the same experience of Christmas uh, at, by worshiping at home, and that it would be an almost impossible task for the ushers to keep people out of St. David's, especially those who often come to visit on Christmas and Easter. So beginning this Sunday, we're going to be broadcasting on Sunday mornings at 9.15. On Christmas Eve, we'll have three services, two broadcasts from the chapel, one at 3 p.m. and one at 6 p.m., and then a broadcast from the church at 8 p.m. And then on Christmas Day, we will have a broadcast service at 10 a.m. I hope that you will find a place to worship God this Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And we hope that you'll take pictures of yourself dressed up for church, dressed up for Christmas, and send them to us so that we can share with one another the Christmas celebration. As you can expect, this makes me very sad. It's, it's been since I was a little child that I wasn't singing in a choir or participating as a clergy person on Christmas Eve. But I know that God is with us. I know that we can live in hope and that God will restore all things in God's time. And so I encourage you to plan to worship with us Christmas, to go on our website and, type, and go into the Christmas page to see some of the other activities that are going on, and that you will consider making a $50 or higher donation for our outreach support for our brothers and sisters in need this Christmas. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you for your continued prayers for the St. David's community and staff. And thank you for the difference you're making in the world by walking in the way of love.